Now recording. Welcome to Issue Crew Movie Reviews, where Mo Diggity can't follow directions. I'm Riley, joined, of course, by a wacky cast of characters, including the one who can't follow directions, Mo Diggity. hi And because I was Hello. gaslit and attacked on multiple sides uh, last time, Pro Royalty fucking weaseled their way in here. <laughs> I'm gonna keep doing it, too. No, you're not. <laughs> this yes, is the I first, am. your first and last Dragon Wheel appearance. Mo, can I come can I come on whatever y'all do? Uh history of trunks, please. No Yeah, of okay, course, sure. Maybe. Uh, maybe. Yeah. No, wait, no, history of trunks is like one of the best ones. You don't get to be on that. That's why I want to be on it. That's an important one. That's why I want to be on it. Crow can only be on the stupid shitty ones. That's not <laughs> fair. You're the one who wanted me to get better at Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, watch it on your watch own the time. <laughs> I told you to watch the show on your own time, and you're just too lazy to find it somewhere. <laughs> I'm just too lazy to pirate it. That's the issue. Sticky hands, sticky hands is screaming, No, only two people. No crow in history of trunks. Thank you. I, okay, I read, read is an trunks. ally here. I want to be in history of trunks. That'll be the fun one. <laughs> We'll 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 see. Let's I, just I am see tired of Redox's that. only two people bullshit, so I'm almost tempted to let you do it out of spite, but I don't think it's quite enough to get me to let you be on history of trunks. Either way, we're here today. Okay, how about this? How about okay. this? If I can be on history of trunks, I will watch the entirety up to I'm gonna say the end of the Boo saga as Let's, quickly as possible before the, end of the show. Well, I guess besides Super, but that's the end of Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, <laughs> I will watch up to the end of Dragon I Ball Z. I am. The, the Redox says refuse his offer, and I'm going to have to agree with him. Damn. Okay, what if I watch all of Dragon Ball Z and Super? <laughs> <laughs> no, just shut up. Let's, re- let's worry about History of Trunks after we review this movie, and when we land on it on the wheel, which could be in, like, a year. <laughs> so let's Fair let's enough. focus on this movie. Uh, this is Yo, Son Goku, and His Friends Return. It came out in 2008. Um, it's Mr. Satan's opening a hotel to celebrate the defeat of Majin Buu, which of course he definitely did himself. Um, and he has invited Goku and friends uh, to attend the opening party. He's prepared a banquet just for Goku to, you know, make up for the fact that he's making a bunch of money off of what they're doing. Uh, And, uh, you know, they're just having a fun little party. But surprise, surprise, Vegeta's secret brother that nobody knew about shows up and says, hey, I'm getting followed by some bad guys. And then the bad guys show up and Goten and Trunks have to fight him. Will they win? Surprisingly, no. (laughs) But but we'll talk about that in a minute, Uh, folks. I, I would like to, I would like to say, real quick. I need to stop looking at chat. Redox is distracting me. I'm closing the kick tab. <laughs> Don't I need to fucking close the goddamn kick tab, motherfucker. Leave it open. <laughs> I need I'm to still focus on. Don't worry. Work, I'll bitch. focus on what Redox is saying. You already have views. You have a bunch of views. No, uh, I need more views. I need hundreds of thousands of billions of views. More. He more, needs more, all more, of the more, views. More. Right now, he only has seven. Seven views. Seven like, views. Just like the seven Dragon Balls. You've collected the seven views. I thought there was eight Dragon Balls. Well, I need more. Okay, Crow Royalty needs to leave this chat right now. That's the last straw. <laughs> no, Crow. <laughs> because I miscounted there were eight Dragon, Dragon Balls. balls. <laughs> just because I miscounted? Damn. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let me go to get the eight star ball real quick. I'll be right back. It makes sense that there would be an eighth one. Let me go get the eighth chaos emerald real quick. Hold the eighth on. chaos emerald is actually something I've been actively thinking about. There is an eighth chaos emerald in one game. <laughs> yeah, that they just made up because there were eight because it was like a fighting Vegeta's game and there brother. were eight people to fight. Yeah, like Vegeta's brother. Okay, let me let me be fair to this movie. Last time before we landed on it in a, in a beautiful display of dramatic irony. Um, I was shit-talking this movie, um, saying that our episode about it was going to be boring, which might still be true, because there isn't much here. Um, but I was also pretty much of a negative, a lot of a negative Nancy regarding it, and uh, honestly, upon rewatch, it has been like 10 years since I've seen this. This movie was cute and fun. You know, it's not, it's not good, it's not amazing, and it's not like much of substance, but it was fun, it was cute, I enjoyed I it. I mean, 
I, I mean, I, I don't really see what the ba- uh, the big deal is about this uh, little OVA or movie or whatever it is. It was okay. It's like yeah, it was, it was the cute. Road Dragon Ball. You know, you got like uh, you got Go Tanks, and that was kind of cool. I do. We do love to see Go Tanks. We always love to see Go Tanks. Uh, but Go Tanks was the best part about this movie. I can't even lie. <laughs> Go Tanks is the best part about anything that he's in. I love that guy. Sticky Hand says, hashtag not my DBZ. I hate this movie is dumb. Whatever. Yeah, okay. Vegeta has a brother. It's kind of <laughs> dumb, but like, who cares? And Vegeta's, his wife looks Vegeta's like a little fleshlight. Having their wife that looks it, like a little robot was weird as all hell. Yeah, his wife, his wife's a little sus. I don't know. I don't think that's a wife. I think that's just a robot. His robot wife. I think that's just a robot that he's it's, calling. It's definitely, his wife. it's definitely not a robot. It's definitely an alien who is his wife. Uh, but sure. you didn't. okay, Crow royalty. Just <laughs> sure. There, there's there's hyper advanced aliens, but robots are where they draw the line. <laughs> oh, the, that's not. If she was a ro- no, if she was a robot, robot, we would know she was a robot. I mean, Krillin's banging an android, so that's true. Yeah, but that's we would we point. know that she's an android. We, if this person was a robot, we would know about it. That's the difference in this in this case. I don't think anyone would even care or even like bring it up. I don't even know why I don't think anyone. The character would... appears again, does she? No. I mean, I'll be honest with you. I I'd have a robo wife. I mean, who <laughs> wouldn't? I mean, it's like better than nothing. Fair enough. Bo Bo, Bo takes that win. I mean, I don't w, give a shit. No I mean, Android 18's fucking hot as shit, so, you know, I'd bang Mo, her. Mo just admitting that he would bang a robot. Well, I mean, Android 18 yeah, is even sure. a robot. She just has, like, some enhancements in her. No, she's, she's an a... android, but her and 17. No, they're actually cyborgs. Uh, that was it. Oh, a... I'm sorry, you fucking nerd. My bad. I didn't no. know that. I did well, because the difference is, that. it's relevant to this conversation, because the difference is cyborgs aren't robots. They're just humans with cybernetic enhancements. Oh, you fucking 17 and, nerd. 17 and 18 were human teenagers who were kidnapped by Dr. Zero and turned into the androids. <laughs> Why is that funny? <laughs> oh, you're, a gi- you're a giant nerd. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know what happens in fucking Dragon Ball. Uh, no, I'm the actually, only it's a cyborg. Ball. They're uh, teenagers that uh, uh, they were why, why by Dr. Android. Well, they're not teenagers anymore, but they were teenagers when they returned into androids. But why are they called androids if they're cyborgs and not cyborg 18? Uh, I don't know. Well, they are called cyborg 17 and 18 in Japan. What? You think Jero like make odd make augmentations to 18's pussy? I would hope. You know, like it just vibrates and like every spins part of around. you wants to leave the call now, but I have to stick it out to annoy Ryan. More, no, you, say more, got, say more. No, yo, the, the, you got, you got to vagina, stick around. Cybernetic enhancement. I've got to stick around shit. to annoy um, Riley. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, do you think she has a button that she just pushes that okay, just pops bro, out? Like, okay, all right, all right. I watch too much. No, 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 no. Okay, so you press no, the button, I, and then what I, does I the watch, button do? Shut up, Riley. Tell, tell I, me I, what I the watch button does. Much, does it, does I, I so- watch too. I watch too much Archer, and that's like a joke on there. Is okay, that like okay, I get where out. you're coming from now? That makes sense. All right, if you, all right, all right. If you press a button, a little hand comes out of a compartment and tickles your balls. <laughs> You know, I wasn't even thinking about that. Archer sucks. Fuck you, sticky hands. No, it doesn't. No, Archer's, Archer's pretty great. funny. Archer's or, really, really good. Or it'll squeeze your balls if you're into that. There are settings. <laughs> you, you can do many things with that little hand. I was going to say she just takes out and then washes it out in the sink. But, you know, like, I didn't know anything about no little hands tickling your balls. That's just weird. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I was not, like, expecting that at all. I, I did not have any, like, retorts uh, uh, prepared for the little hand thing. <laughs> the little hand thing? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Anywho, also Riley. What they call Mo Diggity's girlfriends. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. I don't have a girlfriend, so that joke's just not funny. Well, 
Well, neither does Riley. I, I, won't, I won't explain yeah. the joke. I won't, explaining the joke will make it go too far. I think people will understand when they listen. <laughs> Meh. Meh. Uh, but folks, Yo Son Goku and his friends return. It was a delightful little romp. Uh, it made use it made use of some characters in ways I weren't wasn't expecting. Uh, Goten and Trunks got some time to shine, which I enjoy. Uh, Yamcha got some fucking time to shine. That's pretty cool. Shout out to Yamcha. Uh, <laughs> Yamcha got multiple times to shine. Gotenks copied Yamcha's move for some reason. Yeah, I don't that know was why he weird. did that. You're like, has he done that in any of the other movies or fucking episodes? I don't remember ever like anyone even doing that. You see, it's weird because he's done. He's done, like, a volleyball attack before, but he never said it was, like, Tien's volleyball attack, and he's definitely never done the Wolf Fang Fist before. The direction I thought it was gonna go, right? Because, like, there was the bit where, like, everybody wanted to fight, but, like, there weren't enough people to fight, so they had to, like, draw radishes or whatever. Um, I thought the bit was that Gotenks was gonna use a move from, like, each person present who wanted to fight to, like, represent them all. Um, and then he did Tien's move, and I'm like, Tien isn't there. And then he just did the Gotenks dynamite punch move, and I was like, oh, okay, so I I, I misread the bit here. <laughs> I'm really glad that this little movie was fast, and that I didn't have to watch, like, a three-hour fucking, like, Goku and friends all eat and have filler episodes for an hour and a half. That would be great. I want this that movie. That would have been great. That's what I was looking forward to. Yeah. That's what I thought this movie was. And then I open it up, and it's not. <laughs> it subverted my expectations, and I'm not sure if I liked the subverted expectation. Yeah, so this movie is weird that it happened. It's weird that they gave Vegeta a brother, um, which is which. This movie is canon. Vegeta's brother is canon. He gets mentioned in Super a couple times. Oh uh, wait, so... this movie is canon to the entire yes, series. It is. Oh jeez. Oh okay. Jesus. Can, can we talk about how Goku just kind of shrugged off Frieza for a second? <laughs> oh, yes, yeah. What at this point, like? he's much stronger than Frieza. I know he's much stronger than Frieza, but dude was just like, oh, Frieza. For, yeah, Frieza. They were that kind of anticlimactic, honestly. <laughs> yeah. Uh, honestly, in hindsight, not very powerful. I think Go to the Trucks will be fine. <laughs> And then, like, it wasn't even supposed to be Goten and Trunks. It was supposed to just be Trunks. It was supposed to Goku just be played. Trunks. Yeah, and then Goku. Goku like... Goku did a lot of trickery in this movie. It almost feels out of character. <laughs> nah, it feels like Sun Wukong. It feels like they were playing into the Sun Wukong. I'm going to trick people type deal. And I kind of like that part. Yeah, but Goku. Goku is I know not Goku is a Sun Wukong, but you get what I mean. No, Goku's totally one for tricks. He does a bunch of tricks. Does he do a tricks? When does Goku do a tricks? Oh, this well, movie. Track of all... Well, all right. So, th- yeah, this little movie, and uh, he also uh, tricks his opponents sometimes during battle. Uh, my favorite one that I'm actually uh, able to recall right now is how the tournament of power even started initially when uh, Beerus was threatening to Hakai his ass. And then uh, Goku looks at him, and he flips the uh, the Xeno button up in the air, but he fakes them all out and fucking presses it and goes, see ya, cling, and fucking goes. I thought that was funny as shit. AKA the moment they they thoroughly finish their character assassination on Goku. <laughs> okay, well, we just established that he's also like Sun Goku Wukong and does trickery Sun sometimes. Sun Wukong, yeah. Sun Wukong, sorry. Uh, so no, but that's, 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 that's a separate issue. Got that. The whole setup of the tournament of power is a separate issue where Goku is just grossly out of character. <laughs> He's not grossly out of character. That's perfectly in character. He, for he'd him. be he'd be in character if it was the Saiyan saga and not three years after the Boo saga, where he's an old man who understands stakes. <laughs> yeah, well, this is Dragon Ball Super, so things changed. Well, they shit. That's the stupidest fucking <sighs> argument I've ever heard in my goddamn life. Well, Riley, the you're show, like, they're allowed to per- completely change fundamentally the characters. Yeah, they- they've done that like a billion fucking times. Everyone right, has all the time. No, they haven't. Everyone no, they haven't. They, they, the they literally have. have. They literally have. No. 
Yes. Awesome. The changes. No, right. I don't Riley, care stop what you talking have to say over people. Shut up. Stop talking over people, I'm, Riley. I was talking and Crow interrupted no, you were me. Not. You were done. Crow, I'm not you wasn't. Shut up for a second because y'all are just going to go into an argument that's never going to end and y'all are going to waste an, over an hour and a half trying to argue. I don't give this a podcast. Point. We need to waste an hour and a half. <laughs> but I, I can't say anything at all. It's just going to be you two yelling over each other. Well, you should have known what you were getting into. <laughs> I did, and I'm telling you, shut up. <laughs> well, fuck off. You don't get to do that. You were the guest. You shut Bro, up. Do I get to do that? Yes or no? No, you <laughs> This is my podcast. No. We're live taping my podcast. It doesn't matter that it's on Mo's kick. Mo gets Mo, the privilege do I get to do of streaming that? this. Your kick. Uh. Mo gets the illustrious privilege to stream my podcast on his kick. Anyway. Yes, the privilege of streaming on kick. Your the podcast. privilege of streaming on kick. <laughs> so anyway fucking that that's not what you're describing mo from like dragon ball to dragon ball z or like early dragon ball z to late dragon ball z that is what is called character development where events occur Riley, and that I don't in change in the care that much it's what's just what your fun. It's just what fun. dragon ball super it's just is, fun and you're is being an uber hey, nerd you're man. being an uber nerd for no reason. Who cares? It's who not for no shit? reason. What? Who cares? What do you fucking mean? Who cares? I just don't care. Who fucking gives a shit? I'm having fun. And you're this like is, you're I'm... taking Dragon Ball Z way too seriously. <laughs> that rhyme. Yes, of course I am. Because it's a fucking masterpiece for most of its run. Oh, and then my Super God. comes along, and it's like, hey, remember Goku? No, you don't. <laughs> he's different now. He, and he's much stupider. I like stupid yeah. Goku. He's, stupid always Goku been, he's always stupid to some extent, but now he's too stupid. They flanderized him. Damn it. I oh. like it. It's fun. The flanderization of Son Goku. Anyway. Son Goku, not Song. Don't say it weird. Song. That's how they say it. Whatever. No, they always say it's Son Goku, not Song. Yes, they did. Like Have you ever heard a Japanese person pronounce the word Son? Uh, yes, they say Son. No, son. they don't. They say Son no, Goku. Son Goku. Hey, it's it, it's Goku San. Oh, Goku San or no, Son not. Goku? Son Goku. Son. It's not so. That's how it's pronounced. They I'm say it like that. that. That's so weird. Can I say my take on Goku in this movie, please? Yeah, sure. sure. Go We're ahead. We're not even talking about this movie. We're talking about Dragon Ball Super again. <laughs> I know, but I, I'm trying to get. I'm trying to get into okay, Goku. What in about this Goku movie. in this movie? I like Goku in this movie. I thought him like looking out for Goten because you know Goten really wanted to do this too, and you could see it in the way that they were. Doing his face. This is part of why I like Dragon Ball animation. But the way they were doing Goten's face, he really wanted to fight with Trunks. And Goku doing what he did was like the perfect dad move. No, yeah, Goku was a Goku was a great dad and just like a fun guy throughout this. Life. I agree, Goku was good in this movie. This movie does not is the, the flanderization of Goku has not started yet. He didn't Goku fucking very good get in this flanderized. Movie. Shut he the fuck up. Definitely out. got flanderized. It is not fucking what happened. <laughs> We're gonna have to blurt that word, aren't we? No. What word? What word would we have to blur? Okay, I, I said did, did I, did I, I said that Riley did it. I, I said the funny. I said the funny R word. My bad. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, that's no, we don't was, blur that's that. That's why I was asking. Are we gonna have to blur that word? No. <laughs> okay. All right. I'll, I'll just remember. Say... Are we allowed to say that or not? <laughs> yes. Well, on, on kick, no one gives a shit. I know on kick, no one gives a crap. But like on Riley's show, and on YouTube, nobody gives a crap either. Really. So. Mm. Vegeta felt off in this movie to me. <laughs> How? Vegeta was perfect in this movie. I don't know. It just felt... It might just be his brother. Bro, you've it, it seen, like, be his brother. two movies. <laughs> don't talk it like you're an authority Vegeta, Vegeta has a brother in this. It, it is weird that he weird. has a brother. That is weird. But, oh. th there was also, like... Uh, what was it? There was the bit where they were just, like... Nye, nye, nye. Like, going in front of each other, trying to figure out who was going to fight these motherfuckers. And then it, it's just like... But why? I like that. I, no, I, I, I very in character. It just had me like, but why? That's extremely in character. What do you mean? 
<laughs> the argument with Goku, yes, that was in character. But the hand motion felt off. I don't know why. <laughs> I think that's Japanese humor. Probably. That's the, like, n- Crow, I think you just won the, the like, Oscar for nittiest nitpick ever conceived it is nittiest by man. Nitpick. But see, <laughs> hold on, hold on. You're talking. You're talking about me nitpicking. Meanwhile, you're here nitpicking the entirety of Goku's character. I'm not nit. That's not he is. nitpicking. He is. Thank you. They ruined Thank you. him entirely. He fucking totally is. He's fucking being it's a fucking uber. No, you're being a fucking Dragon Ball fucking nerd. That's what you're fucking being you're right, right yes, now. Yes, because I like the thing right. that I like, and I don't like when they ruin it. Maybe you should He's gatekeep it. Dragon you... Balls left and right, man. Why'd you take the Dragon Ball Z off of the screen? Because I fucking felt like it for a second, so I can put like my shit in here and do everyone I'm streaming. Because I forgot to do that. Sticky hands. <laughs> Me be live, man. Me be live, man. You like coma? Where's my Dragon Ball thingy? Okay, here we go. This has been an interesting. This has been an interesting night. Uh, I wasn't sure I was going to be able to do this, and maybe it would have been better. I you just just been fucking screaming and yelling for like absolutely no reason, and we're just watching fucking Dragon Ball. Yeah, I'm on. I'm on the war path tonight. (laughs) I don't know why. What the fuck's got your fucking you know britches and a twist? It's just one of one of those nights. One of those one of those situations. You know why? You, You you've had situations before, Mo. You understand. I'm this shit, Mo and Crow ruining the podcast. Out. Oh, I'm out. I'm out of this shit, Mo and Crow ruining the podcast. I agree. Mo, Mo and Crow being retards and completely discrediting every correct thing I'm saying about Goku is ruining the. No, podcast. I'm just saying like it just doesn't fucking matter, and you're just being kind of like a huge nerd about it. And who gives a shit? It's so, the, so you're just here for the fucking punching, is what you're saying. You don't care no, that I, they fucking completely fundamentally ruined his character. You don't you, give a it, shit. Nobody should care. It's just, oh, he punches the stronger guy. That means dude, it's it, as good it, as it's, it's always been. It's the Dragon Ball series. It's just not that deep, bro. It is deep. No, but it's I fucking can't believe not. If you just said that, no, you're a it's fake Dragon fun. Ball fan. It's no, no, I'm fucking not. There's nothing like significant. Like, there's nothing about this show that I really, really love and admire a whole lot. Uh, there's nothing in this show that just makes me like you know sit down and question things. You know, it's just. Not a deep show. It's an action fucking film. Like you I know- care, Riley. Mo has never seen DBZ ever. Thank you, Redox. Kill Mo. I agree. <laughs> it's just not that deep of a show. You know what? Mo's kicked off Dragon Wheel. Look forward to Dragon Wheel yeah, number no, four I'm not. with Riley no, I'm not. and Redox. <laughs> well, if Redox wants to come on here and take my place, go ahead, man. I'll just like chill. <laughs> No, like seriously, Redox, if you want to come in, I'll let you like use my uh my stuff you, right you, now you and I'll just switch. Key? <laughs> no, no, no. I'll, I'll let you use my uh my my uh fucking VC right here, but I'm I'm not going to participate it in, in it and I'll just start playing fucking Fallout or something. <laughs> I want to do that anyway. Yeah, I I'll, 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 I'll stay on mode stream and play or watch him play Fallout because I would rather do that. <laughs> we're not doing that. <laughs> Stop talking all right, like this is okay. actually gonna happen. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. So yeah. I am gonna be playing like probably something after this uh, uh little uh stream weenie, by the way. Everyone. I don't like that. I feel like you're gonna rush me now because you said that. No, I'm not. Okay. I believe you. DBZ podcast with two people who never has seen DBZ at all. You know, Dude, you know, funnily bro, enough, I've been, watching, bro, I've been watching fucking Dragon Ball Z since like longer than you've been alive. Uh, funnily I enough, guarantee or, that funnily shit. enough, funnily enough, Redox. Uh, so Mo has watched Dragon Ball Z. It's just that many of his brain cells have been fried and singed out since then. Um, no, Pro literally, Pro no, literally has not. <laughs> no, you're no, Pro has seen not, like uh, two movies and that's it. That's not true like at all. You're just episodes. thinking it's just not that true at all. You're you're assigning a lot more credit to Dragon Ball than it actually deserves. 
And you're saying that it's like a deep show, and it's just not that deep. It is. What do you it's mean? A, it's a, a fun story. It's just a genius. Up. There's so much character work. There's so much <laughs> deep, genuine deep. emotion in this show. No, there's you're not so... really deep. There's not that much deep, genuine hey, emotion. Chill out. Like, I gotta say something. They're, they're, oh, hold on. No, Let me finish this. Let me no, because I gotta leave. My sister's sick. I'm telling y'all, I'm about to leave. Oh my god. Okay, bro. Okay. Then, okay. Then, bro. I, I don't know why I'm mad. This is the best news I've ever received in my life. My sister is sick. I am sorry, but I gotta go. This movie sucks. Right. <laughs> Give me your wrap up questions. <laughs> Fuck! God damn it. All right, thank God we're almost done. All right, I'll be playing Fallout after this. I haven't figured out which one. We're almost long. done. I'm still here. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Jesus, man. Chill out. <laughs> I just <laughs> don't take it so fucking seriously. See, you're taking Dragon Ball so fucking seriously because it it's just should not be a, taken it, it's seriously. Not, it's just not that fucking serious. It's you're so serious wrong. It's literally fucking making me insane. You, you sound like a fucking nerd. Thank what? you for okay. coming back to answer the wrap up questions. God it's, damn it! I was asking them what they were. I was going to send him my answers to them because my sister's like violently sick right now. Okay, favorite go ahead. Character buddy. favorite scene rated out of ten. Favorite character, Go Tanks, rating out of ten, uh, four. Uh, favorite scene, uh, the radish pulling thing. I don't know. Cool. <laughs> that was a here. fun scene. Good scene. Dude, I, it it was mostly just the trunks pulling the long or the longest radish ever. <laughs> that that was a really funny sequence. Where it's just like, hmm, I guess my radish kind of sucks. Oh wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> all the way around the mountain or or that super thick uh radish that fucking master roshi pulled that was nice <laughs> the, the, no that that no <laughs> most siding with the perv would you fuck the radish mo would i i'm leaving bye okay mo diggity would would you fuck the radish why or why not i mean if i can find a hole sure I saw DBZ when it was airing on Cartoon Network, says Redox. DBZ is art. Thank you. Mo is it's a boomer. Art. He will never it get art. it. Thank you. It is, it is, I fucking get it. It's just that you guys are being fucking super uber fucking nerds. Mo Diggity, it. I'm not it's making not, this shit up. Fucking, there are millions of people who will corroborate what I'm saying. But you it's just, just it's don't a get great it. fucking show. No, I fucking do get it. I get all the aspects of it. I'm just saying that the fucking show. Don't fucking don't just say I'm just saying. Come on. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying that it's just not that deep. It's fine. Not everything has to be complicated and deep, like say Death Note. Something can be simple and fucking you know actiony, like Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, and Super. I can't believe you're just saying to me flat out as somebody who's seen Dragon Ball Z that it's not deep. You're literally it's I'm deep. the most I'm it's the most really triggered not. I've ever been on this podcast. I can't believe you're saying this shit to me it's, right now. I don't mean it in a bad way. It's just not that deep. You it know? is that deep. There's so much real emotion and shit that happens. There's not that remember, much real emotion. Remember when Goku's best friend gets killed in front of him and that's what fucking insights his ultimate transformation and he fights in his name remember when Gohan is about to fucking die and Goku sacrifices his life for him you remember fucking a million other things I could name I can't believe you're saying this right now it has some deep moments I'm just saying overall the entirety of the fucking entire series DBZ and Super uh, it's just not that deep like it's really about waste. It's it's just about waste deep. It's like you see, you know, chilling, part of what you're like saying a... in part of what you're saying is correct. Dragon Ball Super is not that deep. <laughs> Dragon Ball and Dragon, Dragon Ball, Ball Z, Z not that, certainly Dragon are. Ball and Dragon Ball Z is just not that deep either, man. Okay, it's just not that fucking deep. You Whatever. just gotta Whatever. like chill out and just enjoy it. Because it's. It's an action fucking anime. Okay, chat. For real. Uh, like, let's be honest here. The only one Dragon in the Ball, chat the, is the entire Dragon Ball, with the, entire, me. the entire Dragon Ball series. All of it. All of it. Is it really that deep? Like, it's not really that deep, is it? It's, the it's only fucking, one in chat is actively thing. agreeing with me. Okay. 
<laughs> You're asking PvP. chat like they're gonna assist you in this argument. When they're I mean, maybe there's fucking me. people. Well, I got eight people watching so far. Maybe someone wants to sound off. That's fucking fine. You know who knows? Mo's I don't know. I'll never get it. Mo's asking no, the no, other six just, view bots. <laughs> they're not fucking view bots, man. It's fucking people watching shit. Yeah, it's, it's Redox, like, me, and six view bots. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you're all fucking yelling and you're intimidating the shit out of everyone just watching. Some people just like to watch. That's like the that's that's the fucking fact of streaming. Most people don't fucking chat. They just watch. It's true. Which is fine. But anyway, yeah. what what happens in this movie we haven't talked about? I don't think we've even mentioned Abo or Kado, the villains of the movie, because they're extremely forgettable. <laughs> yeah, and he even references that at the end of the fucking movie. He's like, no one remembered these guys because who gives a shit? The end. That's basically the end of the film. That's That's the whole conceit of the film. Even at the beginning, it's like... Hey, we're about to tell you this story that nobody remembers because it's stupid. Yeah, <laughs> and, and no one cared. And no one cared. <laughs> it, I don't know. It was, of, it was fun. Uh, it was charming. It, we got to see all the friends interact again. We got to see Goku and Vegeta argue. This is a fun, cute movie. It 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 gets it it's it's a fun little Dragon Ball romp. Uh, I'll give it that. It's it's not as deep as maybe some of the other movies, but it's it's a good one. It's cute. Uh, it's passable. I would watch it again. Uh, Tarble's kind of stupid, but we just have to accept that he exists now. <laughs> I mean, it's weird that Vegeta has like an extremely weak brother. Uh, I really like how sudden. Vegeta treats him, though. Where like uh, he kind of he's 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 cruel at first because like he's got that cold exterior, but like eventually he's like, okay, this is my brother. I'll like be cool. Like 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 he's like, please help me, brother. I'm being chased by bad aliens. And Vegeta's like, what? You fucking can't fight him yourself. And, and then like he gives it him, and he's like, all right, fine, I'll fucking do it. Like I I like how he's just like begrudgingly a good brother. That's that's a good character decision for Vegeta. <laughs> Is Vegeta's brother five years old or something? Uh, a little older than that, I think. Why is he because so small? He... Vegeta's pretty small too. <laughs> I mean, like you, because you, isn't he like five foot six? Like you know, Vegeta's a fucking manlet, and fucking like Goku towers. Well, Vegeta, over Vegeta him, had like funny. a growth spurt though. Yeah. He's not as short as he used to be, but in the Saiyan saga, he was a fucking manlet. Oh well, yeah, yeah, yeah. He had short guy syndrome so bad. In Dragon Ball Z. I mean, yeah, I, th I think Vegeta was handled good in this movie. It was kind of weird that Goku was doing all those tricks, but other than that, you know... It's not weird. It, it is par for the course. <laughs> when does he do tricks? You still haven't given Have me you examples. Not? Because you Besides should fucking this know these... You should fucking know these things if you ever watch the show for more than five seconds. He doesn't really do tricks that much. Maybe he, he does it sometimes. Do a whole lot. It's just like, you know, he does like, it's just not very often, but it's you just, know. It, it seems like in this movie, he, like every decision he makes is like, I'm going to do a trick. <laughs> because he's not taking it seriously because the fucking bad guys aren't really that serious. No, that's fair. I'm not, th this is nitpicking what I'm doing now with Goku. <laughs> I mean, really, uh, what what they like the entire movie, the old OVA, is just like it's time for the other people to shine because yeah. Goku and Vegeta could just like jump in. Even though Goku gets the fucking kill at the end, which sucks. I forgot that that happened. If you if you recall, last time I gave a plot summary of this movie last episode, and I said a bad guy shows up and then Go Tanks beat him because I thought that's what happened. But no, bad guy shows up, Gotenks fumbles the bag, and then Goku has to fucking fly in and finish the job. And then it turns out that they're actually not dead, but they're eating tons of radishes. Which, this is a nerdy thing, okay? But I just want to say it, because, like, it's a plot hole, so I kind of have to address it. What the fuck is the power scaling here? This guy shouldn't be able to touch Gotenks. Oh, I don't know. Well, <laughs> then again, uh, like, oh, okay. Uh, well, the remnants of the fucking Frieza Force, maybe. Yeah, and the Frieza bit... Force, any any given character, including like Krillin and Yamcha, at this point, could defeat with a finger. <laughs> well, also like Trunks and and uh, uh, Goten are, aren't really uh, 
Uh, well, they're not that strong. They're just kind of strong, but they they haven't really really hit a strong. Well, I as mean, kind of. I, I don't know. Like, I'm not that big of a fan of go as go tanks. As go tanks, they're like the strongest out of any of the Z fighters, besides maybe Goku and Gohan. No, he's not. He's not even fucking close. At this point in the story, not when Super Super changes everything, but at the end of Z, he's definitely stronger than Vegeta. And he might even be stronger than Goku. Because if you if you recall, the power gap between Goku and Vegeta was wide as hell when Z ended. It was Super that That's closed that gap. Just not right at what all. What do you he's mean? Not, he's not even fucking close to fucking strong as Goku. Doesn't surpass... Like, he might pass fucking Piccolo, maybe. I, You're just factually incorrect. <laughs> He's a fusion. That automatically <laughs> gives him an advantage. And as Gotenks, especially in his full Gotenks power, which he doesn't use in this movie for some reason. I don't know why he didn't go Super Saiyan 3. Um, Gotenks at full power is definitely stronger than Vegeta and rivals Goku and Gohan. Uh, I mean, whatever, I guess. Uh, I mean, I don't really have like a whole lot to... I don't have shit on this. It it, it does kind of sound ridiculous, but you know, you, like, it's, it's just it's hard to it's hard. I know it's hard to like wrap your head back around after Super happened because Super came in and was like, okay, Goku and Vegeta are the strongest now, and it's not even close. But at the end of Z, before God Key got introduced, and before Goku and Vegeta got the we know how to use God Key power boost, um, the power scaling was radically different. the The strongest Saiyan. At the end of Dragon Ball Z was Gohan. No, it wasn't. It was fucking Goku. No, it wasn't. Goku. He's the one he obliterated fucking uh, uh he obliterated fucking like Kid Boo. Like yes, while he because was because Gohan crazy. was dead because the planet exploded with him on it. No, Gohan, no, Gohan fucking died and got his ass kicked because he fucking sucked. Because he sorry, the, but because he did the Saiyan pride thing where he was like, "I want to play with my food before I eat it," and then yeah, but Super he still B- wasn't really that good to begin with, anyway. So it was he was like, kicking oh, like, Super Boo's ass. Super Boo couldn't touch him. He's it barely, was... he's barely fucking good now. He's barely. That's like, he's correct got... because Goku and Vegeta got God Key and widened the gap. Uh, but I mean, it's just that he's never like he's never really been a contender. I mean, when uh, he's never been a contender, you want to try that one again? <laughs> yeah, he's not really ever been a contender. Hey, remember the Gohan cell games where he won Super- the whole thing? <laughs> yeah, but kind of like barely. He got had to get a fucking like head stomped on. I mean, Goku. Mystic Gohan violated Goku- Super Boo. Thank you, Redox. No, he didn't. He fucking like fought him for a little bit, then he couldn't just keep Mo. up. I mean, Mo. What happened hey, was... hold on a second. My dogs are barking. I gotta shut okay. them up. I'll be right back. Okay. Redox, you might be right. Maybe he hasn't seen Dragon Ball Z. Maybe he's just been making shit up this entire time. <laughs> he might be on to something, Redox. No. <laughs> be quiet. Sorry to the podcast listeners. I know we're not usually this much harping on chat, but Redox keeps agreeing with me, so I want to highlight it. <laughs> it's been 45 years since Mo's seen DBZ, true. It's been 45 years since Mo saw DBZ lol. Okay, let's stop let's stop yelling, but let me let me explain genuinely what happened. Because it seems like you're getting memories mixed up. Because I understand why you're thinking what you think, but it's not as simple as you're making it out to be. So here's what happened. Gohan gets his ultimate form unlocked by the old Kai. And the ultimate yeah. form is canonically stated to be the strongest thing. Stronger than Goku, stronger than anyone else. He goes and he fights Super Buu, and he's absolutely destroying him. Super Buu doesn't even have a chance. But what happens is Goten and Trunks show back up, and they're like, we want to fight him. So they fuse back into Gotenks, and then Buu's like, this is my opportunity. And he absorbs Gotenks. So when Boo has a fusion warrior absorbed inside of him, that makes him too powerful to, for Gohan to fight. But I mean, prior I'm just to that, that, Gohan that, was kicking his ass. I'm just saying that you know, if it were Goku and Vegeta, they would be like, Goku well, and Vegeta could, could not fight. Gotenks absorbed Super Boo. 
I mean, eventually they would have been able to. Maybe if they fused themselves, they would have been. A- well, th- actually, they fight Gohan absorbed f- Super when they fuse their cells. So that's true. But uh, individually, without Vegito, they could not. Gohan individually could have killed Super Boo if he didn't get his Saiyan pride up too much and he was like, I want to toy with him. And then he absorbed Gotenks and that fucked him over. And then Super Boo blows up the planet, so Gohan dies when the planet explodes, which is why Goku is the one who ultimately has to finish the job. But in terms of power scaling at the end of Dragon Ball Z, uh, Gohan is technically the strongest because his ultimate form is stated to be stronger than Goku Super Saiyan 3. So Gohan was the strongest at the end of Dragon Ball Z. Um, the, the power scaling was weird at the end of Dragon Ball Z because Super came in and immediately changed everything. So it's weird to think back. But in terms of like Saiyan rankings, Gohan was the strongest. Then it was Goku. And then it was Vegeta. But that gap was very uh, wider than you would expect it to be. Um, and if you count Gotenks as his own entity... Um, which is kind of cheating because he's a fusion, but still, if you did count Gotenks as his own entity, he's definitely at least stronger than Vegeta and might even be stronger than Goku and Gohan because he is a fusion that can go Super Saiyan 3. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I'll go ahead and give him, you know, a little bit of something, something. So it's just, we, it, it feels like Avocado over here should not be able to touch him. <laughs> and they kind of kick his ass somehow. <laughs> it's yeah, a little they do. weird. Uh, but it was fun. The fighting was well animated. Um, I enjoyed, honestly, like as much as I like Gotenks and I did enjoy him 100%, um, I did like it when it was Goten and Trunks fighting because like they never get anything. So I, I liked seeing Goten and Trunks fighting Abo and Kado, uh, separately. Um, and then they come together. So does Abo Kado. Uh, ultimately they fumble the bag because mostly because Abo Kado kind of cheats and starts trying to like blow up the city. Uh, so other people have to start deflecting his attacks, and Goku and Vegeta are just like, okay, too much danger going on, we need to finish this shit. Uh, but then Goku's like, hey, Vegeta, look, a distraction! And then, (laughs) and then goes and does it himself. Yeah, which I thought that was fucking hilarious, and Vegeta kind of just let him fucking do it. Yeah, because Vegeta easily could have been like, wait, 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 that's not, there's no distraction there, and just caught up. But, uh, but no, it was fun. Uh, it kind of annoys me. Even be I like that he tricks Vegeta and takes it for himself. But even if it was Goku and Vegeta, I would have been kind of frustrated because I don't like that they get the. They're the main characters. I don't like that they get the final hit. I feel like Gotenks deserved this W and should have been more than capable of taking it. But what can he do? Overall, fun, silly little movie. Nothing particularly special, but I I did have a good time. Oh, yeah, it's definitely like, you know, like mid-tier funsies sort of uh, Dragon Ball experience. Like, it's nothing I'd write home about, but it was like maybe, well, maybe I'd mention it in a passing letter to, you know, to my darling that I had to uh, leave here in the glorious south because we had to fight the Great War, (laughs) you know. Uh, but yeah, 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 baby. Uh, it's it's okay. Like I I didn't hate really anything about it. It was fun. Uh, and that's pretty much it. It was just like a fun little like thirty minute little OVA, and it was uh it was enjoyable. Yeah, fun little enjoyable film. Pretty good. Uh, well, unless there's any other parts I didn't mention, that's pretty much it. I mean, you know, like uh. Uh, uh, fucking Tarble can't fucking fight with the shit. He's kind of a little bitch. He's got a little fleshlight for a fucking wife. Uh, we have Abo and Kado, which I didn't notice until you started saying the name together. That it's Abo, that it's Avocado. It's Avocado. Yeah, 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 Avocado. yeah. So it's a fucking good point. <laughs> See, that that's that's like the kind of comedy that I want in my comic that I'm making uh, called uh, Taco, uh, Taco Man, Man and, and Chalupa Boy. Boy. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be that. Like, I well, wouldn't. I might steal this actually, avocado, because uh, yeah, because I I got together with Jason and he was. Uh, we were talking, uh, like a few like uh, characters for the Rogue Gallery and for uh people in Taco Man's life, and we got like a few like uh, uh out Al- the Alfred character is gonna be Alfredo, but he's gonna be you know. <laughs> 
Because that's fucking funny. You know, like you give an well, Alfredo. It's, 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 you funny, give an Alfredo to just, it's funny to just say star. that, but what does that have to do with tacos? You don't put Alfredo on a taco. No, well, it, it's Taco Man and Chalupa Boy, but it's a food-based freaking dimension. Okay, it's a food. It also I, has I animals it was a Mexican food-based ba- No, it's, it's not. I, I kept okay. like trying to tell you that, but you were like, you want to make fun of Mexicans. And then the other dude who was here was all like, Mo hates Mexicans. Well, I mean, <laughs> even, even if it's not all Mexican food, the fact that your main characters are Taco Man and Chalupa Boy is still a oh, little... I can t- no, I can tell you why. Because I fucking love tacos and chalupas. That's fair. That's, we all do. I understand. Yeah, that's that's my main reason. Is like Because I, I fucking love those two Mexican food thingies. Hell yeah. <laughs> anyway, should we go ahead and get to questions? Sure. Let's do it. So, Mo Diggity, I, I ask of you, who is your favorite character in this film? I'll go ahead and give it to Gotenks. Okay. Yeah, Fair Gotenks, enough. Gotenks was entertaining and enjoyable. I love the tandem freaking, uh, the, the little hype uh, fucking uh, monologue that Trunks and Goten go on before they fuse. I forgot. Oh, yeah, where they, they basically just become Gotenks before they're Gotenks and just speak at the same time and start saying yeah. Gotenks shit. That's like, pretty they, funny. They, they got their choreography down pat, and I fucking love that. Yeah, it's pretty good. Um, I'm gonna... I'm gonna go a more, like, subtle character work route for my favorite character and give it to Vegeta. Um, Vegeta? I, okay. I, I just really like how he was handled in this film. I like I like how he takes to his brother. It's just the character of Vegeta is just like he's he's got this hard exterior, but like at the end, he's now been started to break down. Now he's basically an Earthling, and now he kind of has a soft heart. So he sees his weak ass brother, and his like immediate just gut response is like, "What are you doing here, you fucking nerd?" Um, <laughs> but, then, uh, but then he's like, "I'm in trouble. Please help me, big brother." Vegeta's like, "Okay, I'll do it." <laughs> uh, and I also like his. Oh, your stream crashed, buddy. No, my streams. Going on. That was that was my computer. I'm gonna. I need. I guess I need to close Kick because my computer can't fucking handle it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, anyway, so yeah, I just like how Vegeta was handled this movie. I like his clashing with Goku is also very fun. Um, I Goku and Vegeta both got a lot of good father stuff here. Um, so <laughs> uh, yeah, v- Vegeta for sure. Uh, Sticky Hands says, finance a laptop, Riley. <laughs> <laughs> this It's my internet, not the laptop that's causing this, actually. I'm pretty sure. Um, but, yeah, Vegeta. Uh, what about favorite scene? Uh, it'll definitely be the beat scene, just because I, I like that whole scene. It was fun. And the, the Master Roshi thing made me crack up. Uh, I'm going to give it to, honestly... Because this was a part of the movie I really appreciated that I didn't remember from my previous watch. Uh, I'm going to give it to the rock deflection scene uh, where Krillin and Yamcha are both given a moment to shine. Yeah. Uh, where, where Krillin cuts the big rock in half with his destructo disc and Yamcha uh, blows up all the big rocks that are about to fall on Bulma with his spirit ball. That, that was a really good scene. And I liked that they gave those characters a cool thing to do. Yeah. And then they and then they show up in their fighting clothes, and Goku's like, "Why are you wearing those?" <laughs> like he hasn't he hasn't seen them in them in years. <laughs> <sighs> uh, now rating out of ten. See, I uh, it's nothing special, so I can't suck and stick too hard. But I think it was good. I think I at least have to give it a passing grade. Um, so I'm going to give it a solid six out of ten. Oh yeah, I think a six is really good for it. It's like a so- it's a nice, solid little quick Dragon Ball Z romp, and uh, you know, there's nothing terribly special. There's no like lore, rich fucking like uh, uh, deep dives to go under, other than oh hey, uh, Vegeta has a brother, and that's pretty much he's weak as shit, has a little alien wife. That's it. That's as essentially like all the extra stuff, and then we're done. Well, I mean, besides, like, the character work with Vegeta and his relationship with his brother, I think that's some level of deep thing you can look into it. All right, yeah, you can do that, I guess. Uh, But, 
So this puts this movie at number two in our rankings currently. By the way, Crows, uh, we can have guests on this show, but because of how the scoring works, I can't count them in the scoring ranking. You understand, you get it. So uh, Crows' score doesn't count. Uh, but adding up our two scores uh, puts it in second place uh, with 12 out of 20, uh, which is above Dragon Ball Sleeping Princess and Devil's Castle, which has a 10 out of 20. Mm-hmm. And far, far below Dragon Ball Z Battle of Gods, which has an 18 out of 20. Okay. And now, Mo, I think you know what it's time for. Da, 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 it's da, time da, to spin da, da, that da. dragon wheel. All right. Go ahead and share your screen, Arena. I'm working on it. Yes. And I still haven't fixed it, so if we land on a repeat movie, I'm sorry for the anticlimax. That just means we get the week off. No, it just means we spin again, Mo. <laughs> no, I want my week off. You can have it. This show doesn't have to be consistently weekly if you don't want it to be. I've been surprised that you've been scheduling it that way. Oh, no, I haven't been scheduling it. I just figured that that's what you'd want. Well, I mean, I'd ask you, like, when do you want to do the next one? And you'd be like, oh, I'm free this day next week. I'm like, oh, cool. Sick. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. All right. Yeah, because it's not interfering too much with shit. So, you know, it's all good. <laughs> All okay. right. Let's we spin that wheel. Turn, turn, turn. Tell us the lesson that we should learn. Okay, repeat movie. Let's try that again. <laughs> I can watch Battle of Gods again and we'll do another review. Sure. No, no, no. Dragon Ball Curse of the Blood Ruby. Ah, right, cool, cool, cool. I, I wanted to drag I wanted a Dragon Ball movie. I wanted to watch the Dragon Ball movies a lot. So, and I believe I also have that one on DVD. I think it's the, I have three out of four Dragon Ball movies, and I think the one I'm missing is Mystical Adventure. So I have Blood Rubies on DVD. Uh, so we'll watch that next time. When do you, when do you want to do the next one, Mo? <laughs> uh, well, how about, uh, let's see. I have to work three days, the weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I think I'm going to be too tired Monday and Tuesday. So let's say any time. Uh, well, you're not going to on... be too tired for the issue crew on Monday, are you? Hmm? Huh? Oh no, no, no! I'm not. I'm not. Uh, okay. We're going to have to skip the mo cast this week because <laughs> I, 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 I don't. Well, I don't know. Okay, let's just. We'll all see how I feel after I get off of work because I don't like jumping on immediately to do content as soon as I get off of work. You gotta learn but to I have do that, car. bro. <laughs> uh, it, uh, well, if it were an office job, I wouldn't have such a problem. But I have to do like manual labor, and I hate the people I work with right now, or at least a couple of people. And just uh, I don't know, man. My my job's been stressful. I don't think I like my job anymore. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And so. my brother's dogs are being dicks. Did we come up with a day, or are we just gonna? Oh, <laughs> uh, we on could ice do it like now. Uh, how about uh, next weekend, either Friday, Saturday, or Sunday? Just figure out which one you don't mind doing. Uh, let's see. Friday, I have a thing. How Sunday, about that Saturday? I have a thing. Saturday should work. Okay, not this coming weekend though. Next weekend. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. Okay, yeah, yeah. Because I'm working this Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I got you. I got you. All right. Well, you can tune in for that for Dragon Ball Curse of the Blood Rubies coming soon. But for now, folks, thank you much for listening to the Dragon Wheel or Dragon Wheel. There's no the in it. (laughs) We'll see you next time, folks. Bye.